This is the new Diatone Q33. It's a 176 scale FPV Mini RC car and it's available in six different colours. I've always wanted to give FPV a try and today I will be seeing how the Q33 performs. Banggood have sent me the FPV goggle version but you can also buy the car without the goggles if you've already got a pair or you could even use a suitable monitor. I'm also going to be testing out the Esheen Mon Eagle FPV IPS monitor. This thing is packed with lots of nice features. It's also got a DVR uh, and that will let us record today's running footage. This all sounds super exciting, so let's begin by taking a closer look at what we get in the box with the Q33. So in the box we've got our transmitter, this thing is quite basic, it's also quite small. It only takes two AA batteries to get you up and running which is nice. We've got a USB charger, a key ring, a spare body shell for the car itself, a black and white manual and then obviously the little Q33 which looks super tiny. Let's talk about some of the features that this little car comes with. Now straight away you can see the FPV camera on the top there and it does make it feel a little bit top heavy but I'm hoping it still performs good. If you want to change the channel for your FPV, you can click the little button on the top there. That will get you sorted. Now the car itself does come with an inbuilt LiPo battery. You actually get a 140 milliamp hour battery. And it does say on the Banggood website that you get about 60 minutes of runtime. But I don't think we're going to get 60 minutes out of this. 60 minutes of runtime on a 30 minute charge. Yeah, I'm not too sure we're going to see that. The car itself weighs 19 grams, so it is very, very light. It's got silicone tyres, which are nice and grippy. And it also comes with fully proportional throttle and steering. Finally, it has a range of about 50 metres. We've had a look at the little car. Let's take a quick look at the FPV goggles. So in the box, we've got the goggles, manual. We've got two antennas and a micro USB cable. We get 40 channels, a 3 inch screen, a resolution of 480p, a built in 1200 milliamp hour LiPo battery and these things have an operating time of about two and a half hours. Obviously there are much better goggles out there but for this setup and for this little car these will do the job absolutely fine. The goggles weigh 180 grams, so they should feel nice and lightweight when in use. The goggles don't feature an inbuilt DVR, but they do include an AV cable for you to hook them up to an AV capture device if you want to record your footage. I'm not going to be using the AV cable to capture the footage from the car today. I will be using the monitor's DVR function. This is the monitor that I'm going to be using to capture the footage from the Q33 today. It's the Esheen Mon Eagle. Uh, this thing is really, really nice. It's got a five inch IPS display. It looks great, it's affordable and it's cheap, which is ideal for recording your footage uh, using the inbuilt DVR, or you could even hand this to someone else if you wanted them to see what you're seeing through the goggles. I won't be going into too much detail when it comes to the monitor, as the purpose of this video is to focus primarily on the Q33, but I will leave some links to a full unboxing and review video by some of my fellow RC YouTubers. There's only one thing left to do, let's get everything set up and let's find out how the little Q33 performs. I've got everything set up and ready to go. I'm gonna be driving the little car using the goggles. Uh, the monitor's also on, and that's gonna be recording the footage directly from the car. I've just thrown together a very quick track out in my backyard. So let's see how the little Q33 performs. Right, so let's give this a go. Now my backyard is a bit of a mess at the moment. We had a storm recently in the UK. Lots of winds, so uh, my backyard is all over the place. Well, it's certainly harder than it looks. <laughs> See if we can squeeze it under the X-Max. Oh, it's tight, but we did. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. It's quite a tight track that I've put together here, so slightly challenging. I'm going to do my very best to get around it, though. We are on a slight slope as well, so it is a little bit more difficult for the car going back uphill. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. And I could imagine if you had, you know, a couple of these running around and you were racing, it could get quite competitive. We've got fully proportional control. Turns nicely, nice sharp turning. Considering the size of this little car, 
so far very impressed a lot of people have been into the FPV drones for many years it's one of those things I've never bothered to actually try but I think after testing out this little car I can probably sort of see where the fascination comes from ah oh, I crashed it I crashed it into the SG1603 Yeah, this is this is really really cool. This is why I love doing YouTube because you get to test out so many new products. And this is probably something I wouldn't have tried if it wasn't for Banggood sending this. So it's a really really nice opportunity for me to test out FPV. <laughs> yeah, this thing is uh Oh no, I crashed it again. Yeah, this thing is super cool. I think to get the best out of this little car, you want to be running indoors. But it just goes to show it has got potential and it can certainly it can certainly perform just as good outside. There we go then. This little car turned out to be a lot of fun. It's definitely a completely new experience and I really, really like it. As you can see, it is still recording on the counter there. It's just so much fun. You could literally spend hours and hours and hours. I absolutely love this little micro FPV car. We're gonna leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the Diatone Q33 in action. FPV is all new to me. Uh, it was certainly a very, very good experience. It was nice to see what all the fuss is about. Now drop a comment down below and let me know what you make of this little car. Do you think it's too expensive? Do you think it's priced just right? Would you consider getting one yourself? I think it's a lot of fun and I cannot wait to get it back out to give it another little run. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.